Hey guys, welcome back for another video on this channel and today I want to talk about the Quantum Emperor Expert Advisor which is still the number one ranked EA on MQL5. So in this video I will not talk about the strategy, how it works and everything. If you're interested in learning more about this, check out the video that I will link here or here. In this video I want to talk about the current situation because in the moment when I am recording this um, video, the expert advisor is in a drawdown and this could just be a temporary drawdown, of course, but this could also lead to the collapse of the expert advisor signal in the next upcoming days. So what is the current situation? The current situation is, and we can have a look at this on the screen, that the expert advisor signal is currently in a drawdown. And in on MQL5, you have to yeah, take a second look maybe to figure out when a signal is really in a drawdown because a lot of these strategies, especially Martin Gale or grid strategies um, that only close positions in profit, they, um, yeah, you really have to be a little bit careful with figuring, figuring out how these strategies work, if they are in a drawdown right now or not. And what we can see here is in the equity, for example, we have this little red um, part in the um, in the overall equity bar here and this means that the account is currently underwater it is in a drawdown so what do we see we, we do not see it here in the uh, overall performance it's still 54 percent and this is why you have to be so, so careful with the signals on mql5 signals not going to say that this is the case in this specific example but signals on mql5 are used in most cases as a marketing tool to make the expert advisor look super profitable but the seller is just creating the signal to make you believe that the ea is safe and that is just creating profits often you will also see that there are multiple signals for the same expert advisor and if one of these signals blows up for martingale grid uh, systems for example it is just taken out of the picture and it is replaced maybe with a new signal that is super profitable again so just be careful here so let's talk about this expert advisor a little bit more what we can see here is we like we do not see the drawdown here we do not see the drawdown here in the growth chart and uh, all these numbers are totally fine but we can now see the drawdown if we have a look at the balance and especially the equity graph. Let's have a look at the equity first. You can see here there's a blue line and a green line. The blue line is the capital pretty much, the balance in this account. And this is correct. I mean, this is the balance in this account. And we will talk in a second about why there are these jumps in the balance graph. But first of all, let's have a look at this green line. The green line, if you hover over it with your cursor, with your mouse, you will see it shows the equity. And in this case, the blue line is a lot higher than the actual equity as by now when I record this video. And this means the account is a drawdown. We also have a second tab here for the equity, which is the drawdown. And it makes sense to have a look at this because this shows the actual drawdown uh, for the period that this signal is live. And this is um, one of the most important graphs that you should check when you think about buying an expert advisor or you think about investing into one of these signals because here you can see the actual equity drawdown figures. And right now the account is in drawdown by about 16, 17, 18, I don't know, percent. Uh, yeah, you can just see it in the in the um, in the signal on your own PC, and you can see it was in a drawdown before by almost 13%. So you can see here we have the actual numbers. Also, it's really important to realize that these equity numbers here, I think they are only updated from the moment when the strategy is listed, listed as an actual signal. So what we can see here is the account is in a drawdown. So now let's, let's have a look at this balance graph. Oh, wait, there is uh, what I wanted to, to see. Um, yeah, this signal is actually live. Looks like it is live from the beginning on, just not for the first few days and this is also a good sign this is kind of what you want to see because as i said often people just um, set up a account and they wait one or two or three months and if it's going good 
they use it as a signal. So there are some tricks you have to be careful with whom to trust on MQL5. But this signal seems to be an honest signal, not going to say anything bad if there's no reason for it. But now let's um, stick to the facts. Let's have a look at the balance. So I said there are some jumps in this balance graph. And we can see this here already where the account jumped from 1.4k roughly to 1.9k. So there was a deposit of like 500 euro. And this is also shown here in the equity. And now let's have a look at the drawdown. So you can see this deposit was done just when the account was in a drawdown. And why did this happen? I mean, it's pretty obvious, but I will explain it. The salesperson is doing this to save the account from blowing up or from having a margin call in this account. Is this good? Is this bad? It's neither. You just need to know what's going on. So this person selling the expert advisor and having the signal is doing this to save the account from blowing up in this specific drawdown period. It might still blow up, but it will, of course, increase the chances for the account to recover. Now, what's the important message for you? The important message for you is you can do the same, but it does not make the operation risk free. You just risk more money to buy another chance for the account to recover. Also, if you do not have this kind of money that you can take and invest into this account on top of what you already invested, you do not have the possibility to do this and your account might have a margin call when the signal is still alive because the signal provider is just putting some more money into the account to survive this drawdown. And we can see this frequently, like he added some more money. Uh, I think there was another small drawdown. Yes, he added some more money. And then at some point he took out the money that he added into this account. Uh, so I think he added um, like 900 or so and then took 100 out of the account. And then he made another big deposit here. Um, yeah, I don't know really why this happened. I think there was no major drawdown in this period. But like what we see right now, he made two deposits in the last weeks and this is definitely because of the current drawdown that we hear right now which is a little bit bigger. So am I calling this expert advisor a scam? Am I calling the salesperson a scammer? No, I'm not because it is not really a scamming product in my opinion. I do not think it's a history reader. But on the other hand, I do not think it's risk free. And what you really should do uh, when you consider using this expert advisor is having a look at the like private chat or the chat room that um, the salesperson is having for this expert advisor. I was reading some of the last messages. He's actually talking about the problems that the expert advisor is having right now. And of course, he is trying to give some solutions for the future. But of course, always have in the back of your mind, this guy is trying to sell a product. So he wants your money for his expert advisor. So he might say things that are in some way beneficial for the sales of the EA. There's no guarantee that he will find a fix to get around these drawdowns periods. Like even what he suggested as a solution for this uh, current situation and you should like read the last post that he made about it. This is no guarantee that there won't be drawdowns in the future. It could be good for the EA. It could also be bad. There's no guarantee. He's probably saying some things to make you calm down and maybe buy the product. So always be aware of this. But overall, I do not really blame the salesperson because I do not think he is having some historical data in his EA or the EA is actually scamming. It is just a strategy that uses some kind of, he's calling it recovery mode, but I would still say it is just a martingale system because he is increasing risk when the strategy is not doing well. So you can call it recovery mode, you can call it martingale 
or grid system but in the end it is just increasing the risk dramatically if there is a drawdown period and as long as you have this in the back of your mind you can totally buy this expert advisor but always make sure that you do your own thinking that you do not blame others for your financial success or for your financial like not success and always do your own thinking and do not rely on signals expert advisors or trading gurus only because in the end they do not care about your financial situation but you should